It is a pretty gloomy day here, but to brighten up, I do have another roof review. And this time it's of the Enpeel Commando sweater, which is gonna be used or worn by Daniel Craig in the new No Time to Die movie, which finally comes out this year in April. Um, so I have actually taken it out of the box. I've worn this once, but I'll do an unboxing anyway. Um, so it did come in a really nice presented box. It's got a little 007 sticker here and 007 branded into the paper. Got a little note from them about returns and the usual stuff. And then if we just look at this comes with its own 007 branded label and the price is uh, 345 and I got medium. Uh, it is quite fitted. Um, if you look at Bond, or sorry, Daniel Craig wears this um, in some of the posters, the, ad, the kind of marketing posters for No Time To Die. And you can see it's quite a fitted uh, sweater and it, yeah, it fits really well for, for me anyway, in a medium. So let's open this up. So it's uh, it's really good quality. I've find um, you know I've had loads of jumpers or wall jumpers rather that you know you've washed and they have lost shape. This is really heavy. I mean. If you're wearing this in the winter then it's going to definitely keep you warm and where a lot of jumpers tend to lose shape um, this has got kind of reinforcements so quite often you know if I've worn uh, yeah, wool jumpers in the past you can, sometimes you tend to roll your sleeves up but um, you know there's this reinforced cotton here so it's really heavy duty and you've got there are giant uh, shoulder pads as well on the shoulders so um, it's you know you could wear this much longer it'll last much longer and it'll wear much harder than most wall jumpers will um, also it's got the shoulder pads again um, I think in some of the, in the scene where he's I believe he's in Norway or Finland I can't remember um, he's kind of sneaking into a what we assume from seeing the trailer into a you know a, a baddies base um, and he wears uh, kind of a bag over his shoulder um, while he's holding his gun so you know that would obviously if you're wearing a rucksack that's um, could give some protection I can't imagine a lot of people would be though um, and it does have these drawstrings here as well that's a 007 impill label um, so overall it was um, really comfortable to wear the only thing I did notice is and I noticed on on, uh, I think maybe the marketing picture with Peel as well, and then one other review I saw on YouTube. Um, these tend to fold in a bit of a strange way, so you have to, I found when I was wearing it, I had to kind of occasionally pull it back over my, my shoulder. Um, but apart from that, it didn't bother me massively. It was just kind of an observation that I noticed. Um, but it's a beautiful sweater. I know Peel worked with, um, costume designer to make this they made a lot of um, samples and I think they supplied 24 of these to uh, Daniel Craig and his stunt doubles um, for movie production just turn it over So it's pretty plain on the back. You've got the uh, shoulder pads that come all the way down. And obviously you can see how it looks with the uh, elbow pads. But overall, um, you know, it's a, it's a beautiful jumper. I imagine it will last a long, long time. Um, it's not a delicate jumper, so it's quite hard wearing. I mean, it is you know, branded as a British military commando type jumper. 
and uh, I think it's nice to see see Bond not wearing his usual you know suit and shirt uh, it's not that often you get to see him kind of dressed up in kind of military gear to go on a mission so uh, yeah it's a great piece um, really good quality and I hope you enjoy the video thanks for watching